I wanted to make a theater group on a new principle. Instead of making a group of people who share the same background, who share all the elements of common language, not only the words they speak, but the same values, the same class, the same politics, and so on, as you find in any theater group all over the world, to make a theater group composed of differences, and pushing that to the extreme, composed of people whose whole, not only their background, but right through to their natural body rhythms, as different as can be, and through these differences, find what is deeply common. My name is Helen Lydia Mirren, and I'm from South End on Sea in Essex, which is in England. I mean, I think the common interest is the fact that there isn't any common interest. It isn't as if we're all together because we want to explore uh, communication without language, or we want to find out how to do a theatre with your bodies, or there's, there's no one common interest like that, I don't believe. I came to this group because there was nothing else at that time that I wanted to do in the theatre or in acting. And that was because I was um, very wearied by the theatre in England. I'd been working for four years, non-stop. There seemed to be absolutely no reason in carrying on with that because it wasn't progressing anywhere. tied together, the, the more the, the, the small quiet portion finds a real unity, the more the opening out can also find something that seems completely free, and yet in which a total unity is preserved. Usually very blocking and sometimes destructive to know in advance what it should be. That put, sets up something that's almost impossible to meet. Then an extraordinarily strong life is ready to shoot through and guide all these forms. But the line, to go back to what we're talking about this morning about tuning, the line is exactly like strings which make a good or bad sound Good or bad there, it's very clear. They make a good or bad sound depending on just how they're tuned to one another. <laughs> 